Hey guys, I, with the voice stuff, you know, I just, I think of a uh, voice, I've heard them a lot dur during the years, I just try to do it. So, I just was playing around with uh, Andy Rooney from 60 Minutes. So here's my attempt at Andy Rooney. <clears throat> Hello, this is Andy Rooney. Do people still read books anymore? I know I do, but I don't know about you. So I took to the streets and I asked ten people if they read a book. And when they looked at me, they asked what was a book. At this point, I got very severely pissed and pulled out a gun. I went on the rampage. But, uh, yeah, Andy Rooney. You know, 60 Minutes editorial is just go on and on and on and just want to kill him. And he's always, he's always perplexed by the most simplest things or something that's really obvious like you knew would be that way. Did you ever think the year 2010 would be like this? Where's my flying car? Where's my hovercraft? I want a sex spot, damn it. I thought we'd have sex spots, but I guess not. I guess the people in charge decided that having those kind of luxuries weren't important in the year 2010. Instead, I got an MP3 player or more commonly known as an iPod. Now, what do I do with my iPod? I don't do anything. I don't even know how to operate. It just sits on my desk with a little blinking light, asking me if it wants to add music. What music? My records are at home. And when I see you wearing your iPod in the street jogging, I'm gonna run my old man car up your ass. Because that's how Andy Rooney rolls, bitches. I was here during the Great Depression. Don't you know what I did to survive? I killed or be killed. That's how Andy Rooney lived. Andy Rooney is crazy old man. That's what he is. And that's what he'll do to live another hundred years. Or so the devil told me when I sold my soul to him. That's my time. Thank you for watching that Andy Rooney editorial. Do people still shit sitting down? I would think they would, but I've come across this new kind of toilet in the last 60 years. I've never used it because it doesn't have a stall door, but apparently you kind of squat over it. And maybe people's feces have gotten smaller over the past 50 years because the hole to receive this is not just one big hole, but a bunch of tiny holes. I think the future's now. I'm looking at the future as we speak, and I don't know if I can get used to it. See, when I try to squat over this thing, I'm afraid my hip's gonna break, and that's not gonna be good for anybody. I'm just gonna be writhing in the floor, crapping all over myself, while passerbys watch and laugh. Then finally, maybe some man will take pity on my poor soul and help me up, wipe me off, and send me on my way in an ambulance. Until then, I think I'll stay with the good old commode. The commode I grew up with. What do you say? This has been Andy Rooney, editorial. That's not a toilet. I can't use that. Now, I don't care if you have these newfound Asian breeds. Or we'll use only this. I'm not them. I'm not Asian. I have turds. Old man turds. They're like cat turds from the 70s. They turn white. So give me something that's more appropriate for an old man of my age. Don't make me squat over this. Please, I'm Andy Rooney. Have some compassion for me. Because I'm Andy Rooney, signing off. The other day, a small child was laughing at me from afar. I went closer to him and told the child, it isn't nice to laugh at old men. He looked up to me and told me that I was not wearing any pants or underwear. At this point, I elected to pimp slap him and said, your trouble has just begun, young man.
for today is gonna be a bumpy ride. He just says anything he wants and gets away with it because he's soft spoken and he's old and retarded. It's great. The other day, I hit a girl with the back of my hand. She had owed me money from 1954. She had grown up. And I said, you owe me money. I gave you a quarter for a lollipop back in 54. She denied this exchange, at which point I gave her my own exchange, the back of my old bruised up old hand. At this point, she started crying and calling the police. And I said, wait, you're not the little girl I gave the quarter to. Good day, for you have impersonated someone who will owe me money. How dare you play these trickery games on me, you winch. And I left the scene before the police even got there. My point is, police are way lazier than they were when I was a kid.